Shalom Yashrallah. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Akim of pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone camp here in Chicago and Lord willing, it's at a fine lesson. All right, um, you so called blacks, uh, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you know, we fit the curses, all right, that would happen to the children of Israel. And, you know, to tell you straight out, we are the children of Israel, man. We are the chosen people of the, the living God. All right. There's a book from, it's called From Babylon to Timbuktu. And it reads here in this part. Um, in the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus, and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. You know, those that remain of the people. Uh, during the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. You know, same reason Joseph and Mary went into Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, we're dark-skinned people, you know what I'm saying? Especially during these times, right? Um, so, you could, you know, they could blend in. They could hide amongst the, the Hamites, the so-called Africans, okay? Fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery, the slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Now, ish means to be like or pertaining to, all right? So, you know, we know this... Uh, you know, we got to pick the meat from the bones. But nonetheless, this is prophecy according to, um, uh, you know, according to the scriptures. You know, this is what happened back then. But um, when you go to 1492, you know, all 12 tribes now are being scattered, you know. I got this. Oh, go ahead. Quick. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone so the lord prophesied and he told us that if we didn't follow and hearken unto his voice and the commandments that he gave unto our fathers and to our nation as a whole then he was going to scatter us among all people man and, and this has been happening captivity after captivity even when you read the book of judges you know, Jake has been going off for years, man. And right now we're in the last captivity, right? And right here, not only it proves that, you know, that that the that the that the Israelites, you know, they were the dark complected people, which we are, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans like the brothers going into, but that we got scattered throughout the four corners of the world, man. This is just a, a, a small part of it right here. Right, this is 70 AD, you know, you you still had all 12 tribes over there, you know, in Jerusalem, and you know, in that area of the world. But m mainly uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, all right? Because the northern tribes uh, during 70 AD were already here in the Americas, which, you know, uh, it's actually Arsareth, you know, new land That's right. mentioned in the scriptures. But um, when you jump down, can you hit 68? Come on, this is... Um Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you right no man shall redeem us out of this captivity That's we're right. we're going to go into Egypt again the house of bondage meaning we're going to go into slavery yet again but this time by ships you know so this this is now this is talking about the transatlantic slave trade you know so now we're you're literally scattered to the four corners of the earth at this point all right during this time period you know and that's why we have israelites in in every country you know amongst the heathen you know um because you know we went off like the brother was you know mentioning that we broke the law stage and commandments of our of our power man he gave us these law stage and commandments to keep and there was rules, you know, if we break them, you know, the wages of sin is death. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab that. This is Judith chapter five verse seventeen. And and whilst they sinned not before their God, they prospered because the God that hateth iniquity was with them. All right. So as long as we kept the law, said and commandments, hey, the Lord is going to deal with us, man, protect us, and, and take care of us. You know what I'm saying? Verse 18, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, you see, he gave a straight commandment, all right? They were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. Because it's our it's our power, our, our Heavenly Father, that allowed this to happen, man. All right, because we were, we were going off, so he's... You know, he loves us, so he's going to whip that ass, you know what I'm saying? That's Via right. these, you know, through these other nations, you see? That's right, and to add on to what the brother is saying, hey, when this captivity happened, hey, it was, in fact, the worst captivity, the worst ass whipping we ever got, because before all the captivities, we knew who we were. We were always, we knew we were Israelites, so on and so forth, but this time around, we got given... You know, no identities. The the identity of the Israelites was lost. Well, that's. Lo I'm sorry if I could say it. in Deuteronomy 28, it'd be a you'd be a byword and a proverb. Exactly. You know, so that's that's all prophesied. You got to go in the curses and the blessings in Deuteronomy 28. You got to read the right. whole chapter. So, like it says right here, Bible Yeah, go ahead. This, this is Jeremiah 17 and 4. Yep. It says, um, and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee. To serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever, which means a long time, man. The Lord, you know, we just continue from our heritage. We we forgot who we were, ultimately. You know, like the scripture says, the whole head is sick. We our people are so far gone that we don't even know who we are, man. You know? And, and while we got into these captivities, hey, that's why we're also bringing out the fact that. A that 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 the Jews or the so-called Israelites, you know, were were a dark-skinned, uh, complected people, man. So-called black people, right? Right. Yeah. You know, shades of brown. You know, a dark, a very dark shade of brown. You know. Um, but I got a little more. This is back in Judith five and nineteen. But now are they returned to their God and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is. Sanctuary is. And are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. All right, so you know now we're at the end of the, in these last days, but we uh, the Lord has given His name back to us. He's given us understanding. All right, our teachers, you know, what I'm saying the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. He has given this all back to us again, man. All right, and we're at the end, and that's, this was scaring Esau and the rest of these heathens, man. All right, when they see uh, that man, uh, you know, Wisdom of Solomon chapter five. Uh, we're great, you know, standing out there with great boldness, you know, reading him his rights, all right, telling him what, what's going to happen, you know, it, you know, you know, to it, you know, in his future, basically. God, actually, let me get this book four and six because, like, the brother was going into the Lord let this happen, man. This is a uh, Baruch four and six. You were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. God. So, because Hey, we moved God to wrath because we went off and did not what was commanded of us. Hey, this the, the Lord did this to our nation, not for our destruction, but because we moved them to wrath. It says, For ye provoked them that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Mm -hmm. And how did we grieve Jerusalem, man? Because we, we kept constantly going off. We weren't passing on judgment. We were basically... Uh, 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 going against the grain with uh, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gave unto our people, mm -hmm. and we were basically sacrificing unto devils, all these other gods. When you go into history, it, 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 our people used to uh, um, make their children pass through the fire, worship Molech, worship Ashtaroth, and they still do it today. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Our people are still fucking wicked. Two, two thirds, you know, are, are not going to repent. That's right. You know, a lot of these, uh, especially two thirds, you know, a lot of them are into that new age, uh, uh, witchcraft. Which, first of all, if you're already rebelling, it already makes you, you know, a witch, because the scripture says that rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. You know, all all our people, especially two thirds, you know, a lot of them are into witchcraft. You know, worshiping other idols, so on and so forth. 
That's why, you know, that one third, man, that one third, that, that elect, that remnant is precious in the eyes of the Lord. And that's who this truth is for, that, you know, that remnant of, of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans wakes up to the fact that you're an Israelite. To right. repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yahweh Shai is, is on his way, man. With the, hey, the God that hateth iniquity, he's on his way, man. He's about to judge this place. Right. Yeah, since you said that this is Mark 1 and 15, Yahweh Shai is speaking here in red and saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. You know, believe this right. good news. All right. That this place is going down, man. All right. We're not going to be oppressed anymore. You yes, see, man. the Lord's going to deliver us. He's going to deliver the remnant of his people. So you got to turn back to him now. All right. Make make no tearing to turn to Lord. Can you grab that? I think it's like Sirach 5 and 7, I think. Um, this is uh, Sirach 5 and 7. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy the security... Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right, so move with fear, all right? And seek him ten times more, you see? That's right. When you wake up to, to the true in Israel, you got to be engulfed in this word. You got to, you got to, uh, you know, dive right into this, these scriptures and get understanding. And especially now that we're at the end, you, you have very little time. You know, Amos, the eighth chapter, verse 11, uh... A famine of the word is approaching us as well, man. Jacob's trouble is approaching us. The, the third woe is approaching us, man. Soon the MOTB is going to be mandatory. So you got to get it now, you know, while you can. If you're waking up now, because, every, you know, there's going to be, uh, you know, Israelites that wake up in that last hour. That's right. But I'm saying if you're listening right now or whenever you see this, you got to get it right away, man. Don't waste time. All right. We glory in knowing and understanding you. How about Shemia Washai, man? All right, yeah. and so should you. That's you right. see, hey, and as right now, like the brother saying, right now is the time to get it because the scripture said that the Lord, you know, He was gonna pour out His Spirit, and your sons and daughters were gonna prophesy. A lot of people have been getting dreams. Yep. A lot of people have been, you know, <laughs> hey, a lot of people have been getting these terrible dreams about the end and so on and so forth. You see it all over TikTok, whether it be real or fake. Hey, it's the fact that a lot of people are getting a lot of the similar dreams, man. The Lord is pouring out His Spirit. We're in those times, you know? It's really about to be the end. It's really about to come down the pipe heavily. It's about to be crazy, man. Damn. You know? So, like the brother brought out that scripture, hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's about to get crazy out here, man. It's not a joke. So, if you know that you're an Israelite, hey, get right. Get right. Because, hey, the Lord isn't playing. Right now is the time not to play with the Lord, man. Hey, like uh, Apostle Tahar dubbed his ear, that this is the year of Yahweh Bashim Shai turning up. And he has been turning up from the first day. From the first day of this year. <laughs> you know? You got any other scripture? Uh, and kind of, uh, with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Chakodash. The bonus of the apostles and others, a great millstone who rule one who taught us his truth and salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and its sincerity with charity. Shalom. 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 Shalom.